What's your good name? And Kavya Sri. Kavya Sri. So Kavya is fine. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So Kavya, how was your energy for the interview? I'm very excited, ma'am. Thank you so much, and uh, I'm excited as well here. So um, this is your round one for the position of software engineer, if I'm not wrong, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So Kavya, can you introduce about yourself? Yes. My name is Naluri Kavya Sri. I'm from Kamam. I'm, I'm graduated from Kasaradi Narayanati College of Engineering and Research with the with the Bachelor of Technology in the stream of Computer Science Engineering. And I, I developed a strong foundation in my technical expertise, uh, which is C Sharp, HTML, CSS, SQL, etc. And my hobbies are reading books and uh, exploring to new places. And my short term goal is to uh, gain an opportunity in a, rep in a reputed company. So thank you so much for the introduction, uh, Kavya. Thank you. So you told that you have your technical expertise over C sharp. Yes, ma'am. Right. So can you rate on a scale of ten? Uh, how do you rate on a uh, scale of ten your C sharp skills? I'll rate on nine, ma'am. Okay. Nine fine. out of ten. Okay. So can you brief about the C sharp architecture? Yeah. Uh, see, in C sharp architecture, uh, we we have uh, writing a source code first. Uh, the source code uh, which is nothing but a human readable it is written in a human readable language and it's saved as with .cs extension and the source code uh, later run through the compiler uh, uh, with, with the help of compiler the source code uh, uh, converts into the binary code uh, and that, that binary code uh, uh, saved as a .exe extension and uh, with the help of uh, it, it converts into intermediate language which is a uh, CPU understandable intermediate language and uh, the intermediate language converts into a machine language which the machine can understand with the help of a JET compiler in a, in, in a CLR runtime. So uh, to be going to the basic level of questions, uh, can you uh, tell me like uh, your experience on working on OOPS and what is exactly OOPS concepts? Yeah, uh, we, we developed uh, many projects in OOPS. Okay. Uh, coming to OOPS, OOPS is nothing but a single concept. It is a it it is multi it is a concept with having multiple uh, types, which is nothing but inheritance, mm -hmm. and polymorphism, mm -hmm. and abstraction, and encapsulation. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the group of these concepts is nothing but OOPS. Mm -hmm. uh, with these OOPS, we can achieve uh, code re code reusability, mm -hmm. and code readability, and code security. And etc. Uh, uh, in, uh, coming to inheritance, inheritance is nothing but acquiring the properties of one class to another class, either it is uh, pa from parent class to child class. And inheritance, we are having many types. Uh, we can achieve code reusability through inheritance. And uh, coming to polymorphism, we can achieve here uh, polymorphism means many, uh, having one behavior with many forms. Uh, in polymorphism, we can achieve a runtime polyform polymorphism. Uh, uh, in this uh, method overloading and method overriding of the concepts and coming to abstraction uh, abstraction is used to hide the unwanted data and shows its functionality only in the particular code so we can achieve a code security in abstraction and encapsulation is nothing but uh, uh, um, showing the code into a single uh, code, code and data converting into a single unit and we can achieve encapsulation by using uh, parent properties in a child. That's it. Okay, fine. Uh, so far your explanation is good enough. So I wanted to know about these kind of explanatory skills even more. So can you explain me or uh, tell me in brief what is an interface? Uh, interface is nothing but which stores properties, uh, methods and classes. Mm. And interface is used to achieve multiple inheritance mm. whether the multiple inheritance inheritance is nothing but uh, we, we can't achieve in multiple inheritance through in c sharp without the interface mm. because we get an ambiguity error there mm. uh, uh, multiple inheritance is nothing but having uh, two parents to the one child mm. and that uh, the two parents uh, have to acquire by the child mm. so it get confused where the property should i get mm. so there we can get an ambiguity error or a diamond error so we use their in interface. Mm -hmm. Through this interface, we also achieve 100% uh, uh, abstraction. Mm -hmm. By the only abstract class, we can't achieve the code security. Mm -hmm. 
by this interface we can achieve full uh, code security in okay. c sharp fine so do you have any projects that you have done over c sharp or dot net Yes, ma'am. We have done multiple projects. Okay. Can you explain any one? Yeah. Uh, in uh, in backend, uh, we connected uh, SQL, and uh, by the by using of uh, C sharp logic mm -hmm. with the front end and backend. Okay. By using ASP .NET. Okay. What is your roles and responsibilities in that? Yeah. Uh, I I uh, personally developed the project. Okay. To uh, to. Uh, to experiment my uh, technical expertise in that particular project okay. by using my technologies fine. in OOP, uh, with OOP's concept etc. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, so far, like, uh, what are your biggest uh, key takeaways in your any one of the projects that you have done? Uh, key takeaways. Uh, it uh, while using uh, 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 yesterday, I think we we connected uh, from the XML. Uh, with using XML file in ADO, mm -hmm. we read the data mm -hmm. to the SQL database. Mm -hmm. We read it and we inserted in a SQL database by using this uh, C sharp language. Uh, um, by cre creating a, um, uh, a button, an event, we written the logic in that event, mm -hmm. and we run that. Uh, according to that, we uh, read the uh, file which is in with data in XML file. Mm -hmm. We inserted that using this. Uh, ADO with XML. Okay. You have explained about it but didn't say about the biggest key takeaways. Yeah, key takeaways is nothing but uh, when we developed a large amount of data, mm. uh, we, we, you, we are using ADO with XML. We can acquire a large amount of data inserting mm. and storing and transferring the data to the database. Okay, fine. So only the technical things. Uh, so we'll deal even more. I want to dig deep of uh, your technical expertise okay. always. Uh, so what is a typecasting method? Yeah, typecasting is nothing but a converting of one data type to another data type. Mm -hmm. In this we have uh, multiple types uh, which is one is implicit and explicit. Mm -hmm. Implicit is nothing but converting smaller data type to the bigger data type. Mm -hmm. For example, char, char, char is a data type mm -hmm. which we convert into char into int, mm -hmm. whether int is a long, mm -hmm. a, a larger data type. Mm -hmm. And coming to explicit, mm -hmm. explicit one is a, a converting larger to smaller. Mm -hmm. Whereas, uh, whether, whereas I said before the example character to int, mm -hmm. here we convert int to character. And we have multiple uh, method, inbuilt methods to uh, convert the explicit typecasting. Okay. We use a convert built-in methods, mm -hmm. which is a convert dot to int 32, convert dot to string, etc. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Uh, so far, like your explanatory skills are good enough. So, uh, what does array mean to you? Array is nothing but to store a multiple data into a similar. Uh, is to store uh, the data in a single variable, mm -hmm. similar data type. Oh, okay, fine. So what if, if it, uh, there are multiple data types in an array? Yeah, uh, we can use a list, mm -hmm. tuple, etc. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, so like uh, we were good enough with your responses. Uh, I think uh, you have a uh, grand knowledge over uh, the things that you have learned so far yes. and uh, even the project list also we are good enough. So I think uh, I'll process your profile for the second round Thank uh, you. and my recruiting, uh, recruitment team will get back to you with the second round information and uh, you will be processed further. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time and good luck. It was a nice meet with you. Thank, Thank you. so much. Pleasure is mine. Thank you.